Welcome back to Great Day Washington. This Giving Tuesday, the Humane Rescue Alliance is raising funds to support its field veterinary program. The program provides free medical care for those who can't afford it and those who can't physically get to a vet office. So here to tell us more about the program is Dr. Kelsey Gerbig, a field services vet, and Stormy Farr, a field services vet tech, along with Billy Goat. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. We're so Thank excited you. to have you. Humane Rescue Alliance does such great work, but what is the field veterinary program? Yeah, thanks for asking. So we are a mobile veterinary service through the Humane Rescue Alliance, and we travel all around the city um, and see veterinary appointments in people's houses and apartments. Oh, wow, that makes okay. it so convenient, especially yeah. we talk about not just people not be able to get there or afford it, but even some pets don't like to yeah. leave or get in the car. Absolutely. It makes it yeah, stressful. Yeah, 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 they're much more comfortable in their house right. mm -hmm. for sure. And why did you why did you start this program? Like, yeah, how so did that come about? We know in DC that there are a lot of parts of the city where it's difficult to find a veterinarian um, or it's difficult to afford a veterinarian. And we don't think that that should be a barrier to having a pet. Mm -hmm. Like we want to keep pets with their families. Mm -hmm. um, so we started the program in January and we've went been on the road ever since. Oh, wow. Okay, so fairly yeah. new. Fairly yeah. not even mm -hmm. a year. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So how many pets have you been able to keep out of shelters with their family since this? Yeah, so I like to say that we have over 800 touch points. Uh, so we've seen over 800 appointments at the beginning of the year, and some of those are repeats, but those are some of the ones that I think we're most proud of. Yes, for sure. Um, because people remember us and, and know to reach back out for help if they need it. Wow. Yeah. And so what is the process like? If someone is in need mm -hmm. of your services, mm -hmm. they call you guys and, I mean, are you on a route or how does that work? Yeah, so we we are embedded within the field services department and, mm -hmm. and we're the first in the nation to be that, um, wow. and, which is really nice. Yeah. And so we get our calls a couple different ways, but yeah, most of the time people call in, they say, hey, we need a hand. Um, and then Stormy and I, we reach <laughs> out and we figure <laughs> figure out a good plan of action and, and when we can fit them in the schedule. So we're on the road um, most of the days of the week mm -hmm. and we start first thing in the morning and, and mm -hmm. kind of go until the, the day is done. Wow. Um, so every day is very different, mm -hmm. but that's what's super fun about it. And we're able to help so many people that way. So many more people. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Stormy, Billy Goats, he wants to go run. <laughs> he does, he yeah, he run. doesn't. Uh, he doesn't want, he's a little camera shy right now. <laughs> no. um, but he is quite the ham. Yeah. Um, he's available for adoption uh, oh. right now, I believe he's in a foster home, but he's a two-year-old um, American, uh, well, actually a pit bull terrier mix mm -hmm. is what I would say. Um, he loves walks and is great on a leash. Um, he's 100% house trained and crate trained. He'll sit at the door when he's ready to go outside. Mm -hmm. He loves his cuddles. <laughs> and um, he also, even though he loves his cuddle time, he also loves his independent toy playtime as well. Ah, okay. um, but he's an all around great guy. His yeah. goat his coat is so beautiful. I know, <laughs> right? He's a handsome man. So aside from the veterinary, the mobile veterinary services, obviously you have the, the um, animals that are up for adoption mm -hmm. in shelter and foster? Is it all foster? Uh, both, shelter both. and foster. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. for this Giving Tuesday, how can people help support those animals, but also the mobile vet services. Yeah, so if they make a donation um, before midnight tonight, it's triple matched up to $100,000. Right. Um, so today is the day that if you're interested in the program and excited about our work, um, check out our website to be able to donate. Yeah. We it, super appreciate it. Yeah. And what would that mean to you? Yeah. I mean, if you are able to <laughs> so get so much, many more donations, <laughs> what would that be able to provide yeah. for you guys? Yeah. A bigger vehicle, um, yeah. better equipment, mm -hmm. um, Big, easy storage. Bigger <laughs> team. Yeah, yeah, bigger yeah. team, help more animals. Absolutely. Right yeah. now we work out of a Ford Explorer, so if you see mm -hmm. us around the city, um, we, we're in a branded car. Um, but we've got big goals, big dreams to get a bigger vehicle so we can do x-rays on site, um, small procedures okay. on site, that sort of thing, blood work on site. Um, it would just make the day a lot smoother and we'd be able to do more things in people's houses. I love the look when you guys are like, it could make it so <laughs> big. Like you're so passionate about this we, and excited. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so a reminder, if they donate, by midnight tonight. Mm -hmm. What is going on with the funds? Triple matched up okay. to $100,000. All Good right. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you guys you. so much for being here. All thank gifts you. received through midnight tonight, as we said, will be triple matched up to $100,000. To donate, visit humanerescualliance.org slash GT23.